Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, I have got a start-stop switch on my chainsaw that isn't working. Let's diagnose, troubleshoot, and fix that. Welcome to Man Time. Alright, so for this video we're just going to stay up close and personal here. We'll try to do this in as real time as possible uh, so you guys get an idea of how long this repair is going to take and the tools you're going to need to do the job. So first things first, Phillips head, got that off. Now next thing uh, we can just test real real quick here. So your start-stop switch isn't working, you hit off, and nothing happens, right? There's on, and that way is off. So let's test the switch. What we're going to do is we're going to put... Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I see the problem right here. But we'll continue on. <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice when that happens. Uh, what you want to do to test your switch, though, is put your positive and negative leads on there. And you can see here, you know, we're at, uh, you know, nothing. And then we hit that one, and we're approaching um, a closed a closed circuit there. One ohm, and then open there. So the switch was okay. Uh, next thing you would do is take off the side cover, go from here to where that wire terminates, and make sure, again, uh, you've got a closed circuit. Uh, but this isn't the first time this has happened to me. So, let's just fix the actual problem uh, right here. So, I need to see if I've got a 90 degree connector. And then we'll just strip back some wire. And, uh, and put a new connector on it. Sometimes it's just that easy. Yeah. Well, I don't seem to have a 90 degree connector like this one. So we'll see if we can't reuse this one. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been smashed pretty good. The other thing I'm going to do is see if I can get a, a straight connector. And if I have enough wire, you know, in here to do that. Um, so what I would need is enough wire to come into the top. And it looks like I would have that, but I may have some rubbing on the throttle lever there. Let's get some wire stripped back and kind of see what we're looking like here. Man, I tell you what, I just got done running this saw uh, against my Holzforma G660, and I guarantee you if I open up that G660 and take that uh, cover off of there, the air horn is not going to be near this clean. Um, there is zero particulate or sawdust or anything in there. Very nice. And I typically don't like the flocked air filters, um, but yeah, you can see the red armor has even you know flowed back a little bit in there. This saw is pretty hot. Um, looks like I've gone quite a ways on the uh, on the intake side where it's spitting back a little bit, but man, it runs good as is. Okay, where were we? Um, doing stuff to things. Okay, let's put a connector on there. This is what I got, so this is what I'm going to use. Female disconnect, 16 to 14 gauge, and so we will run it in here and crimp it down I want to make sure that wire is all the way in there where you're getting a good crimp on it <clears throat> yeah very nice and then let's hook it up yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty close there. Maybe I can just leave it on there sideways like that. Let me pinch these down a 
little bit. Let's see if we can't just have it kind of sideways on here. There we go. All right, zero interference. Okay, let's uh, fire it up and see if we fixed it. All right, let's see if we fixed it. Man, this uh, is a chore to pull over. All right, on. We'll set half throttle. <laughs> ah. Give it some more choke, why not? Yeah, just a little bit more. Come on, baby. Oh, it's completely out of gas. I ran it completely out of gas. Got a little maintenance to do here on the chain also, but let's try it with gas this time. Man, this is one chainsaw uh, where you really got to question the no decomp decision. I mean, the cylinder is like blocked up. There isn't provisions for one. <sighs> okay. Did we get enough gas on that one start? All right, man. Well, there you go. <laughs> How to fix your uh, start-stop switch, diagnose it, uh, multimeter, ohm setting, check the switch, check the wires, and uh, you can pretty much troubleshoot it from there. That's going to do it for today on Man Time. Get out there, have you some man time too.